between qualifying and her first match, um, I saw Emma practice, and, and uh, you know, with Andrew being on the court, I was um, yeah, I was interested to see how you know Andrew was getting on and what sort of drills they were doing. And, and I think the one thing that really struck me about both of them, Andrew and Emma, was the intensity. Um, you know, this was really. This was really quality practice. There was no messing around, and Andrew was, you know, very specific on the drills that, um, you know, he he felt that Emma should be doing, and and Emma was obviously, you know, buying into that. So there was an intensity for um, someone so young and inexperienced that was that was very impressive. We are building up to Emma Raducanu. She is out on court number 17 for her main draw debut at the US Open. Let's see what uh, Emma can do. The most uncomfortable thing for a player is, is to play a qualifier. Because this is your first match, but they already won three matches. Oh! <laughs> she is just relishing her time out here. This is fun. And often I think you will find that qualifiers win more first round matches than not, but just because of that confidence of having won three matches to get there. Game set match, Radio A victorious New York debut. Three matches in qualifying in straight sets. And now her first main draw win here at Flushing Meadows. I watched her first round match just in television compound uh, against Vogelay and, and you know Emma played really really well but it was in the second round that I that I actually you know had the opportunity to be court side and there was a good atmosphere against Zhang it was the girl that she had lost to in the first match of the whole trip in in America so you know this was uh, an opportunity for Emma to sort of get revenge what an accomplished opening set Radicanu takes it by a rather decisive six games to two. Tim, you might be having a very quick morning there. You'll be having you a cup of tea in no time. <laughs> well, um, first things first, um, phenomenal set of tennis from Emma. I sort of sense the, the intensity, um, the quality of play, but also the belief from Emma that, um, you know, this was second round of a Grand Slam and she was playing some really good tennis and, and she didn't want to, you know, stop now. She can't believe it. Radicanu books her place in the third round. Still yet to drop a set. At the end, I think you could just tell how much that match meant to me. Like, it, I just wanted to win so, so bad. And the level of focus that I had to maintain for that long, it was just like a very nice feeling at the end to have come through that.